I borrow the words of Thiruvalluvar, the saint. Yetralam, eatalam, kaastalam, kaasta vagutalam, nalla valladarasu. A king or a ruler is the one who creates and acquires wealth, protects and distributes it for common good. Thirukkur. Direct tax proposals. Keeping this in mind, the words of Thirukkural, our government introduced a series of reforms in the direct tax system for the benefit of our taxpayers and the economy. Few months prior to the pandemic, in order to attract investments, we slashed our corporate tax, corporate tax rate to make it among the lowest in the world. The dividend distribution tax too was abolished. The burden of taxation on small taxpayers was eased by increasing rebates. In 2020, the return filers saw a dramatic increase to 6.48 crores from 3.31 crores in 2014. In the direct tax administration, we had recently introduced the faceless assessment and faceless appeal. I now seek to take further steps to simplify the tax administration, ease compliance and reduce litigation. Relief to senior citizens. I begin my direct tax proposals by offering my pranam to our senior citizens. Many of them, despite having foregone several basic necessities of their own, have strived to build our nation. Now in the 75th year of independence of our country, when we continue our endeavor with renewed vigor, we shall reduce compliance burden on our senior citizens who are 75 years of age and above, for senior citizens who only have pension and interest income, I propose exemption from filing their income tax returns. <laughs> the paying bank will deduct the necessary tax on their income. Reduction in time for income tax proceedings. This is a very key announcement, if you, if you are asking. Honorable Speaker, presently an assessment can be reopened up to six years and in serious tax fraud cases for up to 10 years. As a result, taxpayers have to remain under uncertainty for a very long time. I therefore propose to reduce this time limit for reopening of assessments to three years from the present six years. In serious tax evasion cases too, only where there is, only, only where there is evidence of concealment of income of 50 lakh or more in a year. In serious tax evasion cases too, only where there is evidence of concealment of income of 50 lakh or more in a year can the assessment be reopened up to 10 years. Even this reopening can be done only after the approval of the principal chief commissioner, the highest level of income tax department. Setting up the dispute resolution committee. Honorable Speaker, it has been the resolve of this government to reduce litigation which masks the present taxation system. The government came out with the direct taxation Vibhatse Vishwa scheme to give taxpayers an opportunity to settle long pending disputes and be relieved to further strain on their time and resources. The response from taxpayers has been the best ever as over 1,10,000 taxpayers have already opted to settle tax disputes, disputes of over 85,000 crores under the scheme. To further reduce litigation for small taxpayers, I propose to constitute a dispute resolution committee for them, which will be faceless to ensure efficiency, transparency and accountability. Anyone with a taxable income up to 50 lakh and disputed income up to 10 lakh shall be eligible to approach the committee. Faceless ITAT. For ease of compliance and to reduce discretion, we are committed to make 
the taxation process is faceless. The government has already introduced faceless assessment and appeal this year. The next level of income tax appeal is the income tax appellate tribunal. I now propose to make this tribunal faceless. We shall establish a national faceless income tax appellate tribunal center. All